Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. It is a chilly, cold day out here in dirty Jersey. High of 27 degrees. Let me double check that. Ah, uh, high of 29 degrees. So, yeah, cheers to that. So, I got my nice warm coffee in here. Isn't this one cool mug right here? I love this. So it is freezing cold, and that's the reason why we haven't been able to make any ride videos out on the road. Um, there's there's still tons and tons of snow out there, and yeah. So I'm bringing you this video today. Now the reason why I wanted to make this video today is because for the simple fact that a lot of people still don't know this, and they haven't gotten the information yet. Um, so obviously from the title, Harley Davidson has raised the price on the Sportsters. Uh, we'll just talk about the 883 today, just because. Um, that's just a bike that uh, I started with, uh, my Harley Davidson journey with uh, a few years ago. Um, and when I got that bike, that bike was still at the price that it was last year for 2020, which was, let's just confirm that price. It was 8,999. I originally got that price for 8,600 out the door, which is pretty good. Um, and now for 2021, there is a 600 increase on that price so for 2021 the price is going to be nine thousand four ninety nine so six hundred dollars increase and you must be asking yourself okay well there's a six hundred dollar increase why is that what is going to justify the fact that this bike is now costing me six hundred dollars nothing whatsoever nothing like nothing at all you would think that you know what Let's finally add a Daymaker to the Sportster lineup. I mean, that might justify that price, if that, but no, still no Daymakers, no LED lights on Sportsters. You would think that they would add some little other additions or add-ons. No, nothing whatsoever. It's just, they just increase the price. So that's what I wanna, wanted to talk about today. So before we go down that rabbit hole, I kind of want to talk about who is a Sportster promoted to who is it launched at who is it targeted who is the targeted crowd and obviously it's going to be the new rider for example i'll use myself as an example i was um i was a long time harley davidson fan for years and years and years and years but the first bike that i purchased was a sportster why because it was you know probably one of the cheapest bikes besides the streets but we're not talking about that um sports it, the sports is the cheapest harley davidson bike you can get right um, it's very small, it's very nimble, uh, especially for someone starting off new. It's, it's fairly, you know, also their latest bike. So, yes, I went with that. And that's the mentality that a lot of new riders have. Also, the Sportster is also the reason why a lot of new riders come from other companies onto the platform. Um, it, it's just something about the Sportster. They are great looking bikes. I'm, a, I'm still a huge fan, even though I have my 2020 Lowrider S and my $15 Lowrider here. Like, I'm still a huge fan of like a 48. Like I, I would dead ass get a 48. Like I, I actually been thinking about that lately. Like maybe I should get a 48 and do a build. I don't know, maybe. But anyways, um, the, the, a lot of people, a, a lot of new riders or and a lot of people that come from other platforms, that's the bike that they first look at. Just for the simple fact that it's cheap, um, it's small, it's nimble, and it's just a price one because these other bikes are obviously way expensive. My bike right here was, over eighty thousand dollars and that's a lot of money so yeah you can debate that's all right well i'm gonna get this new harley davidson for you know eight thousand and change that's 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 all right that's you know it's you know even though some people still say that the sports are still a little overpriced that they should be marked down a bit even fifteen hundred dollars cheaper so i think that would put it in a more of a competitive place um with other competitors but yeah all right so now that we know who this bike is currently mainly made for we can move on to the next subject um and we can break down the platforms as far as um top selling motorcycles on the harley davidson platform um it is no secret that uh baggers are harley davidson's bread and butter that's where they they get most of their money from is the torn models right after the torn models is going to be soft tails soft tails bring in a very large amount of money um, I think it's around like 48-49% uh, when it comes to um, baggers and another 47-48% when it comes to uh, soft tail lineup 
and then it's like a 23 24% um, when it comes to the sportsers so yeah it's it's not bringing you a whole amount of money in but it's bringing you new clientele in who are going to be trading in those sportsers in for baggers and soft tails so I mean for them it's like alright well we can get them in through here and then they'll jump onto the next platform okay but it still doesn't justify the fact that they're charging $600 more like alright which brings me to my next conclusion the reason why they probably up the price is because obviously as we know the sportsters are kind of on their way out unfortunately um, the, the new custom 1200 1250 is going to be the new sports to lineup is going to be taking over that that's no secret at this point and i think the reason why they raise the price is because those pro those new bikes are going to be priced a lot a lot higher than what the sports are now so if you're looking at an i83 at that price with the 600 dollars increase i bet you that the 1200 custom is going to be another 1500 to 2000 dollars on top of that if not even more so I, I guess what they're trying to do is that they're trying to get the crowd kind of into it to not shock you with the high price point later on when that bike comes out i guess what they want to do is try to get the crowd more into the new high price points um and not go from such a big jump where you might be going to a thousand fifteen hundred dollars higher i'm just throwing that number out there i, I, I don't know um so they added the $600 extra this year, so next year won't, the steep won't seem that high, you know? That could be it, and most likely that's part of it, because come on, you're adding $600 more to a bike that, um, that you added nothing whatsoever. Drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you are a new rider out there and you are looking at the sports lineup, will you be getting a sports this year? Will you be waiting? Do you think the sports is going to be on its way out? Or are you just shopping out on the used market? And believe me, the used market is flooded with tons and tons and tons of sports shares for a very low price. So you can go out there and find an 883, like a two year old 883 or 3,000 miles, 2,000 miles on it for. 6500 7500 around there around that ballpark figure so if you really take your time and you look you'll you'll find it for that price and you'll find either even cheaper ones out there like that are five or eight years old for four thousand dollars 45 or even 3500 i've seen them so look at that don't forget i bought this bike brand new but i bought my dyna low rider uh used and it was I was happy about that purchase. I think it's gonna conclude everything. It's, today was just a little short little talk video. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Also, this week we got about three install videos we gotta do, and I'm working with these like around two or three different companies that are sending a few things out for me. So we're gonna have some review videos, some install videos, some good stuff coming to you. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.